How is it going guys? It is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. Back with a new workout video. Doing some squats here. My favorite exercise. I like it because the next day after I squat, I feel like everything's sore. My lats sore, my abs are sore, legs are sore, and it just feels like a total body workout. And I also like it because I have been improving on them every single week lately. I switched back to my Addy Powers, which are the elevated heel shoe. And I've been feeling really powerful. This is actually a PR, I think it's 295, and I whipped that out for 10 reps. One thing I have been trying to do lately on my squat is really focus on tucking in my elbows, and that has allowed me to stay upright more. And I've talked about this before, but one thing that I really like about YouTube, or just filming your workouts, maybe you don't have to have a YouTube channel, but I just film myself and I can upload it to YouTube, or you can just keep it on your computer, and I can go back and look at old footage and see progression, whether it be my form is a little bit better, I'm doing more weight and I'm doing more reps, you know, any type of progression, that's what you want. So this right here is a clip from about a year ago. And what I have on the bar is just 225 pounds. And to me, when I look at the set I just did, my bar speed is better. I feel like I'm a little more upright and I also look a little bit bigger. I can see the gains in my chest. You can't really see it there because the plate was in the way. But if you go back and watch the old video, you can see. And after the 295, I bumped it up to three plates. There's something mental about three plates with me. I have to get over that hump or whatever because I guess in 295, you only have two 45-pound plates. But with this, you've got three. So when I was lifting, I was like, oh, man, three plates. I don't know if I can do it. And then... I just thought, okay, well, it's only 10 pounds more. I'm pretty sure I got that. So another really solid set here for me, 315. And I was feeling good, this squat workout, so I had to try a PR. Moral of the story, you have to fail to succeed. I failed on 365, as you guys just saw, I got stuck. It looked good, I thought I almost had it, but if I wouldn't have gone all out on the two sets prior, I am really confident that I could have gotten it no problem. That right there is the most weight that I've ever had on my back when attempting a squat because I don't max out that often. I usually like to work in a higher rep range just because I'm not a power lifter and I don't really see the point other than to track my progress every so often. Maybe every couple of months, like today I was feeling good. I'm gonna throw some more weight on it and just try. But it's not like every time I go into the gym, I'm gonna do a one rep max. I think it was a good thing for me to max out in this workout because right now when I'm sitting here recording this, I have more confidence in my squat. I almost got 365, so that just makes me think, okay, I can do 315 more. Maybe next time I'm in the gym, I can skip that 295 set and I can start my first working set at 315. It's just a comfort thing. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So overall, a really solid workout. I was happy with it. I'm excited for the next time I go into the gym and squat. And now here I am in my car. I'm driving right now to go get a post-workout meal. Where else would I go? Personally, I think it is better than Cadoba, than the classic Chick-fil-A. Gonna give me a grilled chicken sandwich. It's one of those days, guys, where I'm just so behind on my macros. So I'm probably gonna eat a lot, and it's not like I eat this much Chick-fil-A every single day of my life. Living it in moderation, but let's go through the drive-thru. Thank you very much. Uh, and now I am back from Chick-fil-A. Got it laid out, got a cool chicken wrap, I think is the name, medium fries. I already ate a few on the drive back because they're so good, and one chicken sandwich with the fried chicken without pickles. I like Chick-fil-A more than the burrito places because I feel like you get more macros for your buck. There's probably a lot more protein on this plate than if I were to go get a burrito at Cadoba, Chipotle, or Moe's. So I'm gonna eat this and chow down. And that is it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you wanna increase your squat by 20 pounds, you can hit the like button. Not really, but I really do appreciate the support. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want, click on either of the two videos to watch them, and I will talk to you next video.